Elliot, congratulations. Welcome to the club. How pleased are you to be a Shrewsbury Town player? I'm absolutely delighted. Um, you know, as soon as my, my agent mentioned that, that Shrewsbury were uh, interested, I was you know, really keen to, to speak to the manager. And you know, having done that, I'm, I'm now delighted to sign. And you know, I'm hoping that I can you know, bring something to the club on the pitch. Just looking at your record, your experience is really extensive in the Football League Championship and the Premier League, of course. How big is that for you and, and how much of that experience do you think you can push on to younger players here? Yeah, I'd like to think I can, I can pass on my experience. Obviously, uh, you know, I've kind of, like you said, I've been, been around a little bit. I've played quite a few games and uh, you know, we've got some really exciting young players at this football club and I'll be looking to help them where, where I possibly can and, and help the club, more importantly, you know, try and achieve something this season. I think everyone will know the answer to this question already, but describe yourself as a player. What kind of, kind of player are you? Just honest, um, hard-working. I'll give everything for the, for the football club. You know, I'm, I don't, I'd like to think no one would ever say that I don't do as well as I possibly can. Whether that means I've had a good game or a bad game, you know, I'll always try and leave everything out there on the pitch. And I just want to be a good teammate to my, to my teammates and you know, repay the faith that the gaffer's shown in me bringing me here. And... You know, try and make the fans smile. You know, that's what fans want. They want to be entertained, and you know, obviously playing here against Shrewsbury, it's always been a really good atmosphere. And hopefully, now being on the, the home side, we can have some really good times together. How big of a thing is it for you working with our coaching staff here? Yeah, massive. Obviously, I know Aaron from uh, playing with him a couple of times once at Norwich and then at Bristol City. And you know, the gaffer took me on loan to Bristol City from Norwich after I'd had a quite a long injury. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm delighted to be be back working with them and you know as I said before hopefully we can all be successful together. Is that a little bit strange having Aaron as a former teammate and now he's kind of on the other side of things? Yeah a little bit but um, you know he was he kind of we played that long he was almost a, a coach before he was a coach if you know what I mean it, the way he was around the younger lads um, you know I've only ever known Albie as, the, as the, an older player and you know he's always been fantastic in a dressing room and I'm sure he's just doing exactly the same now in his coaching role. Were most of his goals down to your perfect delivery? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Um, no, I, I really enjoyed playing with Albi. Um, you know, I think the, the way he was as a player, I loved. You know, left everything out there, and you know, similar to me in that in that respect. Uh, even though he scored a hell of a lot more goals than I scored. I know you live in the area, so what do you know about the club? I actually believe you've played at the old Gay Meadow before. Yeah, that was a that used to be a big thing for me. Uh, being at obviously I've grew up in Telford. I went to school at Thomas Telford, and we used to have a school county, you know, kind of competitions. And the prize was getting to the final and, and playing at the, the old Gay Meadow, which you know I used to absolutely love. It made me really excited. I used to beg my mum and dad to buy me new football boots just to go and play on a proper pitch. And you know, obviously the the new stadium's fantastic. And yeah, obviously I've played against Shrewsbury quite a few times now. Um, Always like look out for the local clubs, you know Shrewsbury Wolves. Everyone, it's kind of, it's where I'm, I've been brought up in Telford, and you know Shropshire's where I'm from. It's my county, and you know I'm delighted to now be playing for Shrewsbury. And as I said before, hopefully I can, you know, excite the fans and give them something to smile about. I know it's really early days, but have you set any targets, any things that you want to achieve? No, not really. Um, you know, I think you've got to, you've got to get into pre-season. Um, have a good pre-season, you know, re work really hard, get a good, you know, fitness up, and then, you know, just take each game as it comes. I know it's really cliche, but you can't set targets because you then leave yourself, you know, to be shot down when you you don't if you don't meet them. Um, I think we've just got to take each game as it comes. Um, look forward to a season that hopefully we can get fans back in the ground. That would be, you know, massive. I'm sure the fans have missed being here, and you know, as players, we've missed fans in ground. So. That'll be something that will really excite me, just getting back in a full stadium and, and seeing people you know, cheer us on and hopefully we can give them something to smile about. Yeah, how exciting is that? We're standing in our safe standing section at the moment and that will be rocking when the season starts. And that's, that's, what, that's what you want as a player, you know, that's what you live for, that's what you train hard for, that's what you've, you know, as a, as a, young, as a young lad myself, you know, going to, to watch professional games, all I ever wanted to do was be on the pitch with people cheering for me and... You know, I've been lucky enough to, to live that dream for a long time um, now and you know, I'm looking forward now to, to doing that here at Shrewsbury Town. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah, thank you Cheers. very much.